Okay. Phil Arbach, interview. Three, two, one. Once again, we're sitting down, so this interview is going to sound a lot probably more in depth than any other interview we do because I've been standing up and walking and feeling I've been really tired so I've been keeping it you know, real short but hey I'm relaxing and if we had a cold drink here we could make it go even longer but I want to welcome Phil Auerbach back to the show the second time on the Golf Guys man you are somebody now well I appreciate it John and if you'd like me to take a walk and get you a drink while you continue to talk to the audience uh, I have no problem with that. thanks for having we me we can do that later man we'll okay. do that later yeah I got so, time so, so what have you been doing well, everything's been going great. Uh, you know, Golf Coach Direct is a place where you can take a live golf lesson over the Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, lessons are only 10 minutes. They start at $20. And what we try to do is make golf professionals really more affordable and more accessible for people all over the world. Our coaches are available um, on a schedule basis. They're mm -hmm. available um, by request. Or if they're online, you can request a coach right then. And if he's available... He'll accept them. You guys can go right into the lesson. Fantastic. You guys, um, and you brought one of your coaches along. Is Marshall working with you at all? Is he just a... Yeah, Marshall yeah. works. He's on our yeah. sales team. Um, he's somebody who's trying to... Uh, he's one of our ambassadors. He's trying Fantastic. to create different partnerships for us. And uh, he's doing a great job with it. He also um, goes to the University of Central Florida. Um, they just won a huge bowl game this year, and he's the manager of, of uh, the football team. So he's he's still uh, okay. he's he's, still partying from he that. He goes to UCF? Yeah. Yeah, he sure does. Really? Yeah. Okay, Marshall, you need to sit at that table over there, okay? Because we're from Louisville, Kentucky. So, over there, Marshall. All right? <laughs> well, listen, so I you don't got wanna... to play in that huge bowl game because we threw a game. But that's I, that's that's all the conversation we'll have right there. Uh, okay. well, uh, listen, I don't claim to be a college football expert in any stretch of the imagination. In New York, where I'm from, the closest team we have in Penn State is Penn State. We all know what happened to them. Yeah. And Rutgers stinks, too. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, where am I going to start? In Virginia? Where do I go? I don't it's, know. It's, it's, so, you know, I, you know, listen, I'm a always Mets fan. To, always come to Kentucky. we got we got college sports up the yin yang. You do. And I, we've got pro sports in New York, although I'm a Met, Nick, and Ranger fan. Those okay. are three of the worst teams in sports right now. <laughs> um, the only transactions I'm waiting for is a change of ownership. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's right. Now, you guys run into any, any particular, like, is there one thing that most people come to your site to fix, to learn, to, to get better at? I think it's a real good question. Um, I look at it this way. Each person has different strengths and weaknesses of their game. And the unique thing about our site is it really allows uh, golfers to go out and film themselves. We have an iPhone app, and our mm -hmm. Droid app is nearly uh, released in the Google Play Store. And it really lets you go out and film any type of swing, whether it's a, uh, whether it's a putt or a chip or a bunker shot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are probably eight or nine aspects of the game, driving, pitching, putting, uh, chipping, long irons, short irons, wedge game, inside 100 yards, all these different categories. And uh, the coaches on our site have, have have allocated which ones that they're really good at. The mental game, we've got some people who really need a lot of help. Mm -hmm. They come on our site. And so uh, I'd say most people, though, you know, want to really learn how, how to swing the club properly. A lot of people neglect the short game. Um, and uh, so I'd say most people are doing full swings. I would say that we have more slicers than anybody because um, that's something that, uh, that that most golfers have to have a real, real problem with. Yeah, definitely is. And have you done case studies on uh, how long does it take to get somebody fixed? Get them right. Well, I think it's a good, that's another good question, John. You know, the average lesson taker in this country takes uh, two lessons or fewer in a given year. Mm -hmm. Only 6% of golfers take lessons. And of them, 70% yeah. take two lessons or fewer. So. What that tells me is that most people who, I mean, everybody wants to get better. I mean, I'm a zero handicap. I want to get better. Yeah. Um, and, you know, most people want to get better, but they don't know how to go about it, and they'll go see a pro early in the season. They'll spend 100 bucks, then they'll go back a week later, see, spend another 100 to see if they've made the right changes. Then they go out and they play with their friends, and they don't know which swing to use, and mm -hmm. they kind of stink, and they're like, well, lessons don't work. And that's simply not true. What doesn't work is only seeing the coach a couple of times. And not so, practicing. Well, yeah, you need to practice in between. So we developed a system where you could see the coach week in and week out. I equate it to the football teams. You know, they break down film during the week with their coaches, and that's exactly what we want you to do. Spend 10 minutes uh, going over a swing that you took over the weekend from your office anytime, right on your computer, um, sort of a living room lesson or an office lesson, and then go out the next week, try to implement those changes, get some more footage, and then throughout the course of the season, you know, you'll see you'll see a major improvement with your game, and 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 like we were talking about before, 
uh, you could take multiple lessons in multiple categories just to, you know, because I, I could tell you from my game, not that anybody out there cares, but um, just as, a, as an example, yeah. as a zero handicap, I'd say driving the ball, I'm probably more like a five or a six handicap. I slice it in the trees. I'm not quite as long as I'd like to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, around the greens, I roll the rock really well. I chip and putt very well. I'd say I'm a plus two or three or four around the greens. And it kind of evens out. So I'll slice it in the trees. I'll chop it out. I'll wedge it close. And I'll make the putt. And that drives people crazy. That's how I play. So I know that for me, if I were to use the site, I really want to work on my long game. Now, I play with a lot of guys who drive it in the fairway right where I do when I'm playing well. And then, you know, I'll usually hit it on the green, and I'll have like a 10-footer for birdie. I'm making three or four. And these guys will like shank it in the bunker, and then they'll dump the bunker shot, and they're making seven. It doesn't have to be that way. Mm-hmm. So uh, most 15 handicaps that I play, I'll give them a stroke of hole. We hit it in the same place off the tee. And it just seems like I'm making a bad bet, but I always walk away with the money yeah. because my scores as a zero, you know, are like 74, 76, 72. It's always around the same. Most of my buddies who, who are like a 13 handicap, Half their rounds are shooting 85, and the other half are 95. So if, when they're shooting 95, they always lose. When they're shooting 85, then they win half the time. Yeah. yeah. So we just want to get people to be more consistent and, and really understand the game better. I think, you know, learning over time and getting that constant calibration with the coach um, will really give you confidence, hope, and, 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 and just being organized like a professional would, would really help you get. Hey, one of the things that I find is, is you hit a great shot, and you go, what did I do? What is it that I did different? Because I, I chunked the seven iron back there. Yeah. This time I hit it, uh, you know, 158 yards high, little draw, beautiful. What was different about that? And if we could just take enough lessons to be able to understand and to feel what it is we're doing right, what it is we're doing wrong. That's it, exactly you know. right, John. And right now, you know, if you ask, you know, 100 lesson takers how much time they've spent going over footage that they've taken from the course, I'd say maybe one or two of them have. The rest of them, if they've done any video lessons, it's on the range. It's based on like the 35th seven iron in a row that they've hit. They're grooved. Uh, they're comfortable um, or not, but they're doing whatever the coach right. tells them to do. So what would be really cool is you take a lesson from one to two, and the, co- the coach takes some video, gets it into your locker onto our site because you know as you upload swings, you're getting this whole historical area of swing. So um, you know, coach uploads a couple swings. He says, you know, I know you're going out to play with John this afternoon. Maybe John can film a couple swings, especially on your trouble holes and the trouble shots where you're not as confident. Mm -hmm. And um, if you upload those swings, you and the coach could meet later that week or that evening or whenever it's convenient just to do a comparison to see if the lesson's actually taking root. Now, as a student, what would you rather hear? Coach say to you, hey, good luck this afternoon. Hit him straight. Let me know how you play next time I see you. Or... Listen, film your swing. I want to go over it. I really want to get to the bottom of this with you. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the message that we're trying to get out to users. Is this is finally a chance to get to the bottom of the puzzle. It's a chance to really, really assess what you're doing out there. And I think, you know, we've all said to ourselves, forget lessons because it just seems like so much of it's required that it's just, you know, throw our well, hands in it. That's a big difference. I want to congratulate you, too, using the terminology, coach, instead of teacher. Absolutely. I think that's important. Because, you know, I don't want to learn. I know I've been doing it for a while. Maybe I've right. been doing it wrong. Maybe right. I haven't been doing it wrong. Right. But I don't need somebody to teach me a different way to do it. I need somebody to coach me on how to get what I'm doing to work. Well, John, it's interesting. You know, you mentioned that. A lot of people have said to me, Phil, what's the difference between what you do uh, versus watching a YouTube clip? Well, what's the difference with what you do versus watching the Golf Channel? Or something like that. Yeah. And what I always tell people is, you know, on the Golf Channel, on YouTube... You can learn how to hit a five iron. You can learn how to grip the club. You can learn how to do all this stuff. But what you can't do is you can't have a professional assess how your interpretation is manifesting itself and what needs to change at that point. So we're several steps ahead of those videos. Exactly. You know, it's not like how to, here's how you hit a five iron. It's here's how you need to hit a five iron based on how you're trying to do it now. And that's and that's the big difference. I mean, I play with this guy, you know, and he you do he frustrates that hell out of me because he's you know I gotta get you some other people to play that, that's alright but like 185 to 200 yards off the tee but it's straight down the middle you know and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm way farther down the fairway but we may or may not be in the short grass if you know what I'm saying oh yeah you know? oh, yeah. oh yeah I did in fact I, that's what I was talking about I think I see you in the shade I think I've seen you over there on the right side usually. that's me yeah yeah so, so that's uh, where I am I so, hang out over there so Phil just real quick 
where do people go? They say, well, this sounds like a great idea, man. Where do I go? Check it out. Uh, so the website is uh, www.golfcoachdirect.com. When you get on there, there's uh, some sample lessons. There's a How It Works video. Uh, there's some frequently asked questions. Uh, my contact information is on there as well. You can always email me, phil at golfcoachdirect.com. Um, we have a lot of usage these days, a lot of coaches on there. Um, we've just got written up in PGA Magazine as one of the best practices for teachers to teach short lessons on the web. Uh, recently, uh, we received a patent from the United States Trade uh, and uh, Organization for um, live interactive instruction over the Internet. We think that's something that's going to have a lot of value over time. So you know, we've got the app, we've got the pad, we've got the site, we've got the coaches. We're really just ready for, for some of your listeners to come on and mm -hmm. give us a try. And, you know, frankly, uh, you know, the first 10 people to listen to this interview that sign up, um, you know, we're going to bonus some, some free lessons to. Fantastic. Show our back. Th Thanks so much, John, Appreciate for having it, me on. So when are we going to go play? Whenever you like. I'm available. All right.